Hi, it's Paul with the Vintage Camper Trailers Magazine, and we're in our 1955 Spartan Manor. Um, this one's a 28-footer. It's been our winter project, and this year we'll be out touring in it with our mobile museum of vintage trailering artifacts. It'll also be our office, and it will also be our camper as we go to a bunch of rallies starting um, in boot camp in March and, and on throughout the season. So, um, hope you check us out and find us at some rallies, but today we have got to get our mini blinds ordered. We've talked about doing drapes, we've talked about doing mini blinds, we're probably going to do a little bit of a blend of both, but early on in this project um, we contacted blinds.com and they have been very gracious in sending out samples, um, which is part of how they sell their blinds. You can call and, and get samples from them and, and see what you like. We're going to do some polished aluminum here to go with the backsplash that we had made. This is um, actually a stainless stamped diamond plate backsplash, but we're going to do the polished aluminum here and in the bathroom where we did all the Wilson Art uh, laminates. Um, but uh, in the rest of the trailer, we'll do the off-white mini blinds, so we have lots of privacy at night when we're when we're not open, when the museum is not open, and we're not um, using it in that way when we're just camping in it. So, uh, one of the things with blinds.com is they are real good about measurements, but it's super easy to measure for your mini blinds. They make it really easy, and there's a lot of tools on their website as well. Uh, the main thing you need to determine is whether you're going to do an inside blind or an outside blind. That's simply whether it's going to rest inside of the of the window jam here or sit on the surface. And for, for our vintage trailers, typically they go on the surface when we do mini blinds because you've got mechanisms. These were just rebuilt and the mechanisms aren't even back in here, but the handles and things would interfere with the blinds hanging inside of the window frame. So we mount them on the surface. And when you measure for the surface, you really want to take the measurement that uh, is the, the whole thing. You don't want to deduct anything. You want to cover from frame to frame. This one's about 32 and 7 eighths wide. And then when you're going top to bottom, you would want to cover frame to frame and maybe add a couple inches just so you have complete coverage when you mount them. This one we're not going to add a couple inches because it's such a narrow window, but um, we're going to go ahead and measure all of the windows for the trailer, get them ordered, and hopefully Blanks.com will have them here in time for us. We've kind of waited to the last minute, so now it's on them to, uh, of course, hurry up and, and rush in order. But they're good about that. They guarantee everything, and I'm sure we won't have a problem. So uh, consider that. It's a good alternative to some curtains. We're probably going to do a couple little soffits to soften things up in the trailer. But mini blinds offer a lot of privacy, and we're period correct for the time. We'll be getting the two inch wide mini blinds with the inch and a half wide uh, cloth straps. So it's much more a mid century look than just a regular standard mini blind. Thanks for joining us and check out blinds.com when you have a chance.